What I love about tech news is it doesn't care whether you just woke up. It says, look at me, look at me, computers! And you know, that is special. <laughs> AMD talked some big talk yesterday, promising 50% more performance per watt for their upcoming RDNA 3 GPUs and 25% more for Ryzen 7000 CPUs coming later this year. But if we're gonna talk performance per watt, then you're gonna wanna hear some more exciting news that slipped under the radar this week. A user called Xerius yep. on Twitter posted about an insider graphics driver for RDNA 2 GPUs that brings a massive free performance boost in OpenGL games and applications. The driver was speculated about a few weeks ago by Red Gaming Tech, which is a way easier gamer tag to read, <laughs> but now it's actually available to download and a couple Minecraft players have already boosted their frame rates from 18 to 72 Whoa. in a graphically demanding area of the not so graphically demanding game. Mm -hmm. And from 550 to over 900 in the less demanding one. It's over 900. Tell that to your grandma. She'll be so impressed. <laughs> oh, your frames are so high. <laughs> OpenGL is used in a ton of games, but also professional applications like AutoCAD, Blender, and After Effects. So when this driver drops to the public, Radeon 6000 series graphics cards are gonna have a lot more pep in their step, which is great because as we all know, we've been feeling a little self-conscious lately. Sure. And also times are tough. I don't want to spring for a 7000. And when the steps of my 6000 are just so damn peppy. Well, you just want free stuff. And pep. Free pet. Microsoft has not announced their Xbox Cloud Gaming dongle, but they have announced that you won't need one if you have a new Samsung TV, which is great because I don't think the dongle will even come out with the screen, yeah. or at all, actually. It's probably never gonna come out. It's basically just the little dongle. Samsung's entire 2022 lineup will come with the Xbox Game Pass app which will let you stream games from the cloud using any Bluetooth controller and soon, you'll even be able to stream non-Game Pass games that you own, GeForce Now style, which is a cool style. <laughs> Way better than karate. Microsoft also had some other related announcements. Its Edge browser will unsurprisingly have optimizations like Clarity Boost to make it the best choice for cloud gaming with Game Pass, and the company is working on bringing back game demos. Whoa! On discs? Uh, no. Ah. Uh, maybe. So close. Remember when you didn't have to buy a console game to figure out you actually wanted to play it or not? I do, and it was way better. It was way better back in the day. The old time that I'm old enough to remember was the best time. <laughs> Today sucks, don't have kids. And good old Jeff Keighley would like to talk to you about his lord and savior video games at this year's Summer Game Fest, where a boatload of game trailers were unceremoniously deposited. Actually, they were ceremonious. There was a whole ceremony. It's ceremonious. Yeah, Ritualistic. Sorry. sorry. He had the vanilla ones like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 showing off fancy weather simulation and the Callisto Protocol, aka Dead Space 4, Space Zombies again. But you also had Stormgate, a co-op strategy game made by StarCraft 2 veteran devs that does indeed make you want to give my life for ire. Good. There's yet another Aliens shooter called Dark Descent. Capital A Aliens? Aliens. Like, like Xenomorphs? Aliens? Yes. They're just movies. Yeah. And a Dishonored but with Demons game called Witchfire. While Fort Solace and the somehow still in game development routine are new entries in the abandoned space station horror genre. Spoiler alert, things are not what they seem. <laughs> That's truer than ever for Skate Story, a game about a skateboarding demon made of glass and pain. Uh, if you bail on a skateboard as much as I do, <laughs> this won't be a long game. Regular. He's on a mission to swallow the moon, and that's just a tiny taste of Game Fest, so check out PC Gamers Roundup linked in the news sources. I swallow at least a few moons a day. No big. Riley, do the thing. All right. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Brilliant, the website and app that makes learning STEM accessible and fun. It's like those sweet fruity smoothies with kale blended in. You don't even know you're eating vegetables. <laughs> Brilliant is about active learning, so it's chock full of interactive visual problems to solve. Plus, there's no harsh grading, long lectures, or strict time limits, because those are not fun. See how that works? Check out the Everyday Math course and refresh your knowledge of foundational math topics like percentages, fractions, and basic geometry, or dive into any of the 60 other different courses because you feel like. Join today using our link below and the first 200 people will save 20% off a yearly subscription. That's brilliant.org slash techlink. Come on, get smart. Quick bits don't care what you think, but they do care about what you say. 
Please be respectful. MIT researchers have discovered an unpatchable flaw in Apple's M1 chips, somewhat similar to the Spectre and Meltdown exploits found in x86 chips. Apple thanked the team for finding the flaw, but didn't seem too worried about it because they were probably too busy rolling around in their giant piles of App Store money. <laughs> that doesn't matter. Another reason to buy M2. Tra -la 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 -la. <laughs> Because the attack would work by guessing something called a pointer authentication code, the team named it Pac-Man, which has got to be the most fun part of being a security researcher. It's like, it's like uh, adopting a puppy, you know? Yeah, or discovering a comet. Microsoft accidentally allowed some unsupported PCs to upgrade to Windows 11 this week. <gasps> no! <laughs> Windows insiders posted on Reddit that they were installing the OS on their dirty, unwashed machines powered by heretical processors like the Intel Core i5-7300U. No, you. One user said, all seems good after updating, but Microsoft is quick to point out that this was a bug and the requirements have not changed. Hey, we do not not change them further. Insteon, which is a smart home company and not some kind of Pokemon evolution, suddenly shut down operations a few months back but has suddenly come back online thanks to a small group of passionate Insteon users, also known as Pokemon trainers. <laughs> I'm keeping this going. They managed to acquire the company. Wait, we can do that? Is this a DAO? Is this a crypto thing? Guys, do you wanna, <laughs> do you wanna buy Google? Wall Street Bets saved GameStop. Anything's possible. We could buy the US Constitution. <laughs> In case you thought Linux was safe from horrible software flaws, it's not. Security researchers at Intezer and the BlackBerry Threat Research and Intelligence Team- BlackBerry? Like the phone? It is. They have teams? <laughs> <laughs> have discovered a Linux malware called Symbiote that can infect all running processes without leaving any sign of its presence, except that you'll have bangs. <laughs> And a company called Violite sure. thinks it's found a way to make you a better gamer by blasting light up your nose. <laughs> Violite's transcranial intranasal photobiomodulation device has too many syllables and applies light therapy directly to the forehead. <laughs> no, to the blood vessels in your nostrils, which can increase nitric oxide, improving oxygen, ox oxy oxygenation <laughs> and thus energy levels. Energy levels win games, folks, and as long as you don't turn your camera on in, in the Discord you chat, you'll be, be fine. Made, yeah, it's over. This is so, so I'm not redoing it's this. So we have now expended both our energy and tech news for today, so come back on Monday for more, because I'm pretty sure it'll help you game better somehow. Yeah. I'm gonna shave my nostril hair this week just oh, to open the channels. You're gonna be so much faster in life. <sighs> I'm probably Running. gonna get chafed just from the air <laughs> rushing through. Ah! <laughs>